Today I'm going to review the uh, LG monitor that you are seeing in front of you. On the left hand side is my uh, five, 5 years old Dell monitor 2413 I think. Um, this one is LG uh, UL600. Uh, we bought it in Thailand for about uh, roughly 12,000 baht. Okay, so for this LG, this is a 4K monitor uh, with an IPS panel. I'm not super technical, so I won't go too much on it. But just a few um, observations that I have so far between uh, uh, the Dell and the LG. First, um, the stand of the LG is not as strong as the Dell. As you can see here, it flex a lot. But for the Dell... It's, it took it quite hard to move it around for the LG. Let's do it again. Flex a lot. So uh, one of the reason why uh, that Dell, when I bought it five years ago, it had the price as the same price with this LG as of today. Okay. Um, the the LG is a 27 inch screen when the Dell is only roughly about 24. So uh, you can see the size is. Have some different okay um, I will not judge about the color accuracy or what it show because right now even I pick the same color on both of the screen is to show one is much brighter and more you know like fresh compared to the other one um, however there is a different um, different you know setup that need to be done like in a very technical way in order to reproduce the same things uh, but I uh, but as I mentioned I'm not that kind of technical so I just keep that I just focus more on something that is um, non-technical okay on the back of the LG is very simple with um, five connectivity on the back two HDMI one display port and one um, headphone jack and down here you can see this um, lock just in case on the back of the Dell is much more complicated because behind this there is a ton of connectivity for you they even have like three USB um, 3.0 uh, with one USB 3.0 upstream okay uh, one of the reason why you see the LG is kind of flimsy like it, it shake a lot because the base is very thin I mean it's, it's it's built for cost saving when Dell they have think a bit more forward so they build the stain is very very heavy um, and they support you like the, the the Dell monitor can do left right up and down when the LG can only do like um, till backward and forward so that's uh, where the money go for. Okay, another thing on, on LG or Korean products, they tend to have the white color. I'm not sure why, but uh, for me, I don't mind this. Uh, another feature that I pick the LG over any other monitors, such as the Lenovo, they have a super cheap Lenovo for just about 7,000 baht. Uh, and it's 4K, quite amazingly. But I don't pick it because they didn't provide the Versa mount right here, just in case in the future I want to buy another LG and um, that's how we're going to use it for. Okay, now come back to the front of the screen. I'm going to try to show um, some minimal color comparison between the um, two systems. So uh, I have this. It's a very old school color mapping thing. Uh, let's see what we can take out from it. Uh, what we're gonna look for is trying to judge whether the black and white is really black and white and the, the line is straight or not so so far I think this come out very well um, yes white top white and in here you will try to looking for the um like how how much detail it can it can display in here let's see uh, i'm recording this video in 4k so i hope it can do it very much better than 
and auto resolution okay so color accuracy and um, straight line vertical thing I think it's decent okay now we're gonna move to the old monitor and let's see how it can do uh, of course it's not as good as the other one but as you can see I think it's decent like here because it's only display in 1080 so you will see there's more distortion into the screen you see like Dell can do amazingly good job in this section as well this is very hard to displaying it okay uh, and because I did the review on Dell already I see there is no problem with the uh, line so that it will look straight it will not curve from left to right either top to the bottom okay one thing I couldn't do right now is the color um, is the backlight um, spill I have to do it at a night time so we need to come back on this later uh, these for this screen I definitely happy with it and just another um, comparison of the how much space you will have more if you own a uh, 4k display so let's bring these two together so what you are seeing is my channel on the left hand side is a 1080p and you can only see until here which is the Gaojiang beach but on the right hand side I have almost double what I can see but of course on my 4k I only display that as a 125% zoom meaning I try to squeeze more content into my 4k compared to um, my 1080p because I only display that 100% so that's it for now. I'll come back later at night time to do the um, backlight, um, but you know, like leaking things, and try to see if we have any like dead pixel.